Hello there, this is Susanna. Welcome to video number four on emotions. Thanks for watching that far. In this video, I'll talk more about the relationship between your emotional responses and your dosha. And if you remember, there are three doshas. We have vata or the wind, pitta or the bile, and kapha or the mucus. And as I was mentioning to you in my previous video, the emotions are contained in the body. And basically your constitution, that means your dosha, will influence the type of negative emotions you will experience in your daily life. When the predominant element in you is excessive, you will see the world through the filter of that specific element. And uh, we'll look into this a little bit further. When you are in a state of doshic imbalance, that is, vata, pita, or kapha are excessive, you will perceive the world like through a veil. For instance, Vara people will see the world as a dangerous place where anything bad could happen to them. Pita people will tend to see the world as a place where they have to prove their capacities and their worth. The world is a place for them to be the winners, to be the best. For them, life is all about competition. And for Kava people, the world is a place where they can possess and accumulate and enjoy pleasures. Now please remember this, when you are imbalanced, or when your doshas are imbalanced, your perception of the event that you are experiencing will never be objective. You will see everything through the lenses of your excessive dosha. In my talks about Ayurveda, I like to use this example to illustrate what I mean by this. And let's imagine that there are four people waiting at the bus station. One of them is of a vata nature, the second one is of a pita nature, the third one is of a kapha nature, and the fourth, regardless of her type or, or her dosha, she is balanced and centered. Now, the bus is late. This is the incident or the event. What are the different reactions? The Vata person will be worried and she'll probably be anxious about being late. The Pita person will be irritated, slightly angry, and could probably consider even making a complaint to the boss company. The Kava person will probably eat a chocolate, a chocolate bar, or some cookies to fill up her emotions. And the fourth person, the person which regardless of her constitution is simply balanced and centered, could just take a book out of her bag and read using this extra time, taking this event just like any other event with no emotional response. And so you see, this is what we're doing all the time. In most cases, we are giving interpretations to all the events happening to us, big or small. Many of the situations to which you have certain negative emotional responses are just simple, neutral events which have nothing to do with you. There is nothing personal in there. Now, if you are to read some of the comments on Facebook, you'll see how everybody has an interesting point of view about all aspects of life. But if you are to read carefully, you'll see that they could be easily regrouped in three main categories. One, the fearful comments, where people and comments that fear that something bad will happen, the world will come to an end, etc. Two, then you have the aggressive, the angry, the ready to fight, fighting for a cause, superior, violent language, insulting, arrogant, and in possession of the truth. All these are pita type of remarks. And then you have all these sentimental, easily hurt, displaying flower, animals, cats, and dramatic love codes. These are all kappa type of comments. So you see, the doshas will taint your perception. Please keep that in mind. And the doshas will make you see in the world in a distorted way, when imbalanced, of course. Your doshic imbalance will make you see yourself and others in a distorted way. Basically, you never see what is. We never see the truth, unless we develop our conscious mind. We never actually see what is. When you start to study Ayurveda and apply these Ayurvedic principles to your life, 
and you start observing your body, your emotions, you will see how much your entire life and most of your emotional responses were to a great extent only interpretations. And here comes the yogic metaphor for taking the rope for a snake. How many times in your life have you taken the rope for a snake? We're always giving interpretations to what happens, filtering our life experiences through our own upbringing, conditioning, education, and our doshi profile. Even then when you think that your judgment of a situation is based on facts, and you really believe that you are entitled to feel that way. Please know that the facts that you're using to justify your judgment are the ones that you chose to look at. In other words, the more entitled you feel to having an opinion and the more you justify that judgment, <laughs> the more you are in a game of your emotional mind and in that interpretation of life. Because you see, Suffering comes from this interpretation. This is very deep, so please ponder on that. Allow that to digest. So if you are dealing, for instance, with anxiety, balancing your vata dosha will help you move beyond this emotion. If you are dealing with lots of anger, then you should consider reducing pita dosha. And if you're too attached, too sentimental, too lazy, maybe you could consider lowering kapha dosha. In my next video, we'll look at, uh, at the root of the emotions or certain emotional reactions. So please stay tuned and thanks for watching.